Now, what would happen if you used your phone number as your name in Brawl Stars? Well, you can't, but I've got connections, and after a little convincing, I got Danny to change my name in the game to a phone number. Now, normally, it would be a horrible idea to put your phone number out online for everyone to see, and you should never do this, but this just isn't any number. You see, I bought a prepaid SIM card off eBay, and I popped that in my phone, and I got ready for the insanity that was about to take place. And speaking of insanity, Today's sponsor is offering insane amounts of fun. Battle Crush is a brand new PvP action brawler game coming soon to Nintendo Switch, Steam, and mobile. In Battle Crush, you face off against up to 30 others in a massive arena where the ground crumbles beneath your feet while you battle to survive with the goal of being the last one standing. Throughout the battle, you'll find chests and items scattered about that will help you survive and claim that top spot. There are many characters to choose from, all with unique abilities, so you can find your favorite style. The controls are straightforward and simple, but mastering them all is up to you as there are multiple different attacks to use. You can combo your attacks, dodge others, wind up for heavy attacks, or even unleash your ultimate ability. And with various game modes in Battle Crush, you'll always have a new challenge waiting for you. There's the classic 30 player battle royale where the last one standing wins. In brawl mode you choose three characters to battle and a build up mode where it's a 1v1 you versus your opponent. Now you can sign up for the beta right now to be among the first to play starting the 23rd of October on Steam, Nintendo Switch, and Android. And what's more is I've got a code for you to use to get a thousand free crystals that you can find in the description or the pinned comment. Click on the link, sign up for the beta, and be sure to redeem your free crystals as well. Big thanks to Battle Crush for sponsoring today's video. So first things first, I set up a really cringy voicemail greeting. I probably just placed you and dunked on you. you Stop. Created my profile and started my very own club. Now going in, my strategy was pretty simple. Be as toxic as possible. Get people to text me after I dunked on them and then try to turn them into a friend. What I didn't realize at the time is that this is a very bad strategy and it would lead to some, well, let's just say interesting conversations. Now if I was going to be toxic then, what better brawler to do this with than Edgar? Now to make people really rage, it had to be the perfect blend of toxic, pins, skins, and sprays. I had it all ready to go, and in my very first game, I shredded them while being as toxic as possible. And right after that, of course, I went to check for any messages, but... Hmm. Nobody's texted me yet. But as you'll see, that'll soon change. I would spin, I would thumbs down and spray after everyone that I killed. Sometimes I just stand there and thumbs down at players just for the heck of it, but even with all that, I was still getting nothing. So seeing that I wasn't on my free to play account, I took it up a notch, returned to my roots by snagging some gems, using code Lex of course, and I maxed out Edgar all the way just to make it more infuriating for people to get killed by me. So I pushed my Edgar to 500, wrecking people even harder, and yet, despite all of that, Still, nothing. I decided to change my strategy and go straight to the heart of the sweatiest players in Brawl Stars, Power League. But if you think that I was gonna try to dominate people and do good, I was gonna go in the opposite direction. So after clearly drinking too much blue flavored water, it's pretty good. I became the horrible teammate in Power League. I couldn't do anything, but somehow, some way we still managed to win. And as a result, yeah, nothing. I got nothing. And just when I thought that this idea might flop, things took a drastic turn because after beating these guys, I was playing in the next match when this happened. International caller. Is somebody actually calling me right now? Oh my gosh. Hello? Ooh, they hung up. And they may have hung up, but this would kick off the action because while I was spamming the thumbs down in the next game, I got my first text. I got my first message, y'all. And boy, did this guy have something to say. Okay, so I responded to that guy. I'm the best crow ever. At least that's what my brother told me. Now, clearly, he was out to prove something. But remember, my goal here is to make a friend, not a rival. So... I tried to befriend him. His username is use code BT1. I asked him about Ben and sure enough, he was a big fan of the Swagmaster. If this guy befriends me, I will get Ben to make a message for this guy telling him thank you for the support. So we played some games and 
I mean, listen, he wasn't the best, but that's okay. I mean, I carried enough that we were still able to gain some trophies, and I guess he felt sufficiently warmed up because then he wanted to 1v1 me, and he was getting beaten pretty badly, and nobody likes that one friend that just beats them at everything all the time, so I decided to let him win just to make him happy. Okay, I'm going to miss lots of shots here. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. He killed me. Oopsie daisy. After that, I had to go, but I hoped that I did enough to make a friend so that I could surprise him with an awesome message from his favorite creator. And I was feeling pretty happy and hopeful that I had made a friend in Brawl Stars. When I logged in the next day, he wasn't there, so I just kept on with my toxic strategy, and while working on the update videos, I was playing a little when I got this message, so I decided to fire back. And let's just say things escalated from there. Yeah, so that's a lot of blurring. He was pretty angry. Now the next day, I was really hoping to get to play with my new friend, use code BT1. So I hopped on, and I saw him online. I thought we were friends. But then, hey, hi. L? He just said L. What? And it was in this moment that I realized I had went about this the total wrong way. So it was time to turn over a new leaf and I needed to be the guy that you wanted to be friends with. I needed to be a better version of myself. So I changed everything. I changed my profile to be nice. I changed my club to show that I just wanted friends. I was determined to be the nicest Brawl Stars player around. No more thumbs down, no more spinning, and for sure, no more Edgar. And I had to start by apologizing. And with that, I closed the chapter on use code BT1 and I started fresh. So I kept on playing and I kept on being friendly and sometimes at night I would play on my tablet and I didn't have my phone with me and then one morning I came in to find somebody had messaged me this. Dude, we just got pooped on in Brawl Stars. This alone was a big change. Someone not being toxic but rather being cool about losing. So I messaged him back. Now I had only really lost one 3v3 game and while I was trying to figure out who sent me the text, I put two and two together when I saw I had a friend request from him. Oh wait, it must have been Jits. It had to have been Jits. Look it, he sent me a, a friend request. J oh hey, that's him right there. Yo, 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 it's Jits. Then he told me that he watches OJ and I got excited because I thought I could get OJ to do the same thing for Jits as I was planning to do for use code BT1. I even asked OJ and he was totally down for it, but Jits had to prove himself as a real friend first. And as I was planning things, things hit <laughs> a, a bit of a snag. I don't want to be talking to a 30 year old, you feel me? Oh bro, <laughs> I'm not 30. So I mean, his concerns are very valid. You don't want to be talking to some weirdo out there. This is why you should never give out your phone number online. Probably shouldn't be doing what Jits here is doing either. The other problem was that Jits was just like never online. I guess the dude didn't play that much. So I was really excited when I finally saw him come online and then it happened again. Please, please be my friend. At this point, I had been working on this video for almost a month now and I was feeling kind of desperate. And this is where things started really drying up for me. Jits didn't play much, no one was calling or texting and honestly, I was beginning to lose hope. So I decided to kick it up a gear. I hatched a plan to make a post on Reddit about this account to see if, you know, maybe I could gain some traction. Well, it's gotta get some upvotes or else it's never gonna get any traction on the sub. So I hit up all my tribe boys to go upvote the post as well. And while that was cooking, I launched an attack on another front. If I could get into somebody's game live on stream, then it would get seen by a lot of really dedicated fans to Brawl Stars. I tried to get in for quite a while and then finally it happened. I got into Corey's lobby live on stream. Dude, what is this account? And I even scored the first goal and there it was. My phone number just plastered across the screen for everybody to see. People were trying to talk him into calling me and at the same time, I was actually getting phone calls coming in too while we were playing. Now we won all our games and I was feeling pretty good. So after that, I went back to the Reddit post and checked in when it dawned on me that if people called this number, well, then it would have that old cringy voicemail. I probably just played you and dunked on you. You suck. 
and I wanted to have even more intrigue to this, so I called upon the marvels of AI to replicate Kairos' voice so that when people called the phone number, it sounded like him on the other end, and... Did my phone ring? Jeez, I didn't hear it. Leave me a message and I'll hit you back. I had people calling me, and I was even getting comments on the thread about people coming up with conspiracy theories. I did get some text, and even some people wanting to add me, and there was this one guy that I guess I had played against him the previous day, and we ended up actually chatting quite a bit. It seemed like a pretty cool dude. So I sent them all friend request links, excited for the next day to come in and see my new possible friends. And when I did, none. Not one single new friend. So I just kept going. I mean, I was getting calls here and there, but I was running out of time on my prepaid SIM. So either I was gonna find a friend or I was going to have to just make something happen. And I'm someone who doesn't mind failing as long as I know that I've given it all I've got. And I still had more schemes to work out. So with time running short, I hit up my boy Nubs and asked him that in his next Reddit review video, if he would include that post about this account. And he said that he would, so I was pretty excited because I knew that there would be a lot more eyes on that. I had no idea of just how crazy it was going to be, but there was just one problem. See, when his new Reddit video came out, well, he forgot about me. And honestly, it seemed like just everything was going wrong. I, I couldn't make this work. It was like one failure after another one after another one, but I'd put this much work in. I wasn't going to give up. So I chastised him. And after some thinking and planning on our part, he made a short. Let you. The poster said that they called it and it went to voicemail and it sounds like Kairos. Kairos him? Star Park lore? I need to find out. And this set off an absolute atomic bomb explosion on my phone. Since nine o'clock this morning, I have received so many calls. Like, it's just crazy. Let's see what this says. have nine new voice messages. Okay, nine new voice messages. I'm just wondering if you're Kairos. Are you Kairos? Hi, Kairos. Oh my gosh, just the smugness to that one. It was just like, hi, Kairos. In fact, I ended up revealing who I was to a couple of the guys as well. But as fun as these interactions were, they didn't really reach my goal of making a real friend in-game just off of the phone number. Wait, is, that, is this Lex? Who's, who's Lex? Oh, you're, you're the only reason I actually started Brawl Stars. Really? Dude, that's pretty dope. Yes, yeah, so I love you so much. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's appreciated. All right, I'm kind of glad I answered that one. That's when I remembered that one guy that I had been texting with, Moto Moto. Now, he never messaged me back or even accepted my friend request, but he did seem like a really cool guy, so I, I went out on a limb and I texted him again. And while I waited for a response, I kept getting calls. And at this point, I probably had received like 125 calls and texts, although most of them were just expecting it to be Kairos. Hi, Kairos. Which was, I guess, kind of my goal. And then a day later, I finally got a message back. And this one really made me happy. Now, I could tell just from talking with this guy that he really liked Brawl Stars and that he was a nice fella. So I sent him a friend request, but <sighs> this is where I made a big mistake. So I sent the invite for my free to play account, but but then I realized, oh crap, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm on the wrong account. And so I'm thinking, okay, well maybe send it from this account and he won't notice, he'll just see the top one, or maybe he won't even know, know my free to play account at all. I mean, that's kind of a niche thing to know my free to play account. Well, he got an invite from Lex. He's in the club and everything. I didn't know what to do, but while I was contemplating, he sent me yet another message. <laughs> yeah. It was time to come clean. You got me, Moto Moto. You busted me. Well, I kind of busted myself. If you'd like to play with me, I would still love to play with you. So let me know, and uh, we'll play. I got you, Lex. I watched the video, freaked out a little. I'm done with my schoolwork. Let's play. So we hopped on a call, and we played. We laughed. We won. We lost. We just had a good time. Oh, yeah, I don't know how you live. Yeah, just run away, run away. Yes, you saved us. And after two months of trying, two months where I got backstabbed, cursed at, I reinvented myself, went undercover on Reddit, got on a live stream with a pro player, had videos made about this count, but more importantly, I learned the value of being nice to people. Cubes. The, the Cordelius was spinning on me in my turret killed Oh, look at your cur turret killed her. <laughs> you kill them both after death, man. You never know what's going on that with someone. Dope. And sometimes just a kind word or an action can make more impact than you might imagine. And in this case, 
it made me a new friend. His name's Muse, and he's pretty dang cool. Yeah. It's so cool playing with your favorite creator. Yeah, dude, I bet.